when I made my video about my power supply, I realized that I never uh, published on YouTube how to make uh, a variable power supply and show the basics. They are in my books, but not everyone buys my books anyway. Here is that demo circuit to show how it works. I have connected to the output a voltmeter, two halogen lamps, and this is the schematic. Very simple, by the way, a Darlington to the base of the first transistor. We send a, a variable voltage that we take out here. So this is between 0 and say 40 volts. For a Darlington with a 3 and, uh, 3055 and a BD139, the maximum is approximately 40 volts. I've told it earlier because of the power that this combination, this Darlington combination can take anyway. A capacitor here bridged with these two electronic components. I've, I've explained that already. And when we vary the voltage here, you will see that at the output, the load, the voltage will go up and down, etc. I want to demonstrate that now. Here is the 10k potentiometer connected to the two transistor Darlington BD139 2N3055 on a quite good heatsink, not ideal, but anyway, it's good enough. And when I turn that potentiometer, You'll see that the lamps light up and the voltage goes up and down. I turn that potentiometer back again now. And you can see that it is a very, very easy to make a good power supply yourself. Homebrew with the help of this circuit. And because the load now is extreme, these two lamps take, say, 4 ampere. The output voltage is not so high as expected, of course, calculated, it's all properly, etc., etc. And you see the input and the output voltage, a kind of voltage drop. Anyway, with all normal circuits that you make in your electronic practice, your hobby room, etc. This uh, power supply, variable power supply, will do the job. So it will surely go to the maximum voltage that the input can give. 40 volts maximum. Of course there is a voltage drop here, two, ta two times uh, 0 0.7 or 0 0.8 volts. But you can get out uh, surely 0 to 40 volts variable with a good current, say 1 ampere or half an ampere. And um, that makes this circuit very practical and usable. And apart from that, watch my earlier video from this evening where I have shown... Um, the basic power supply with a resistor bank at the input here. Easy to make, always works. Give your uh, 2N3055 a good heatsink so that it can endure the voltage drop and the power falling over it, etc.